Hi, this is Neil Kroll, the associate pastor at Roser Community Church, praying that God has blessed you with a wonderful week. And I can't wait to see you on May 31st. We are opening up the church, praise the Lord, for Pentecost Sunday. Oh, just to, just to celebrate the birth of the church as we come back as the physical gathering of the church is exciting. And I can't wait to see you. You know, one of my favorite books of the Bible is Nehemiah. Nehemiah had a prestigious job working for the king, but he heard about the destruction in Jerusalem after the Babylonian conquest, and he wept about it. He asked his king to, uh, if, if he could go and, and, and be in Jerusalem with his people, and the king let him go. And He traveled some 1,700 miles from Persia to Jerusalem, and after seeing the destruction, Nehemiah wept. He spent three days and nights observing the walls and the destruction of it after spending three months just getting to the city. And then after the tears and after the long journey and after examining the destruction of the wall, Nehemiah says something important. An exclamation in some translations say, but he says, come, let us rebuild. And under the threat of war from other countries and some of his own Jews trying to take advantage of his workers, Nehemiah and those that believed of what God could do rebuilt the walls in 52 days. Two and a half miles of wall 40 feet high was done in 52 days. There might be some weeping right now. We are in a time of turmoil. We have seen COVID-19 take of what we know as the church, the physical gathering, and we can't be together, which is a shame. Unfortunately, we've had to mourn the retirement of our senior pastor, our leader, who decided to retire early. And now we are caught in this time of rebuilding. But I'm here to tell the church today that now is that time. Let us pick up the hammer. Let us see the destruction, what we need to do. But also at the same time, with God's help, we can and we will rebuild. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for the wonderful leadership of Dr. Bob and I thank you for all that he's done for Roser. And Lord, we are saddened to see him leave, but Lord, now is the time for us as a church to see what we need to do, to see the work that you've laid out before us, and to help us too, Lord, pick up that hammer and to start rebuilding. To start being that light upon the hill for the, all the world to see. So that those that are in the darkness can see and praise their God. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity as we're going to gather together in a week and a half to celebrate your great love and your wonderful grace. For all this we ask in Christ's name and for his sake. Amen. God bless you and thank you and I can't wait to see you in just a little bit.